Assalamualaikum students. How are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to the channel, my D one D two Sarfika Academy. And uh, today our lecture is related to chapter thirteen, which is symmetry. I am going to explain you question number seven of exercise thirteen A. So if you want to get more help regarding your uh, subject, then you can subscribe my channel. Okay, let's start our today's lecture. Question number seven is copy uh, the following diagrams and make each of them symmetrical about the two dotted lines. Okay, the first part is that for you. Okay, so they are saying that uh, first you have to copy the diagram and then you have to uh, complete the diagram in the way that each of them is each part is symmetrical. And you have to draw the symmetrical figure. about these dotted lines and here you can see that um, uh, this is a vertical line and this is a horizontal line so we have to make this figure a symmetrical okay so we have to draw the reflection of this image so as you can see that uh, this is here so when i will draw its reflected image on this side its symmetrical part on this side so how would i draw it as you can see that i would draw it like this so as you can see that now this is the symmetrical part of this uh, this part okay and now how would i draw here as you can see that like this okay and how would i draw like this here like this as you can see that all parts okay what does it mean reflection reflection mean that each part must be of equal shape uh, must be of uh, equal in size and same in shape okay all four parts must be symmetrical as you can see that in this figure all these four parts are symmetrical or all, all are same in shape and equal in size and each part is a reflection of the other part okay as you can see that this is a reflection of this part so this is the reflection of this part and this is the reflection of this part in actual we call these lines as a mirror lines okay now let's move forward to this part okay now uh, how would you draw its reflection and how would you draw its symmetrical part to the left hand side as it is like this now a small half circle so you will draw a half circle to this side as well okay and here as it's a complete circle so i will draw a half circle here and half circle here as you can see that there is a um, a complete vertical line but there is also a horizontal line so i will also draw the reflection of this image downward okay this is a complete image now so reflection of this image is this circle and reflection of this half circle is this half circle okay so this is how um, you have to draw the complete figure you have to draw the symmetrical figures symmetrical mean the same okay same same in size and same in shape and equal in size this is a complete circle so when i will draw its reflection its symmetrical part it will be a complete circle to this side and when i will draw a reflection of this image okay it's a complete circle so here it's also a complete circle and when i will draw a reflection of this image it's a complete circle so here it will also be a complete circle as you can see that all these four circles are equal in size and same in shape so this is a symmetrical figure Come to this part. It's starting from origin and then going going like this. Okay, the same I would do, would do like this. This going here, and I will turn it like this. Now I will draw the reflection of this image. Okay, as it's starting from the origin, moving outside, and then just a small line inward. Same, I will draw outside and small line inward. So this is a reflection of this image. Now I'm going to draw the reflection of this image, starting from the origin, going outside. and then little bit inside okay this is how you have to draw the symmetrical figure moving forward to f part okay it's like this now so first i will draw the reflection of this image it's a half triangle so when i will draw a reflection uh, its reflection i would draw it like this as you can see that like this now you can see that this part this half this half triangle is the reflection of this half triangle now it's a complete um you can say that it's a sort of rhombus okay so now this is rhombus so i'm going when i'm going to draw the reflection of this rhombus to this side so how would i draw it i would draw it in the same way like this half triangle and here like this now 
this is the reflection of this image. Now you can see that all these four parts are symmetrical, same in shape and equal in size. So this is how you would draw a symmetrical figure. Now this is a complete a rectangle. So its reflection would be like this, same. Now when I will draw its reflected image to over here, so it would be same, a rectangle. And now I'm going to draw the reflection of this image. It's the same, a rectangle. Now you can see that this is a symmetrical figure. All parts are same in size, uh, equal in size and same in shape. Okay, moving forward to the last part. Here, this part. It's a triangle. So now, as you can see that this is a small line. So I would draw a small line here. Now this is going a little bit, uh, here you can see it outward, okay, it's not inward, it's outward. So I will draw a line outward. Now this is, now this point, this line is joining this and this point. So that is how I would join this and this point like this. Now I have drawn the reflection of this image to this side. Now I'm going to draw the reflected image, reflect, uh, now I'm going to draw the reflected image of this part. Now here, I would start a straight line, it's a straight line. Then a line like this, a line like this and this. So this is how, this is how you would draw a reflected, uh, you would draw a symmetrical figure, okay. This is the reflection of this part, this is the reflection of this part and this is the reflection of this part. It should be a little bit bigger because it's like this, you would draw it. Okay, so this is how you have to uh, draw the symmetrical figures. You have to complete um, a symmetric fig a symmetrical figures. I hope that um, it's clear to you. Now let's move forward to question number eight. Okay, question number eight is Each of the following figures has one line of symmetry. Draw the line of symmetry and write down the equation of the line of symmetry. First, let, let me explain you that how would you write down the line of symmetry. So, whenever you are having any vertical line, okay, any vertical line, and it's if any vertical line, that means that that is an equation of x, okay. So, you will write it as x is equal to con that constant. Okay, let me explain you how. Mm, suppose this is the figure and I'm going to draw it into two equal parts. I'm going to draw the line of symmetry. You know that what is the line of symmetry? As I have explained you earlier, the line of symmetry is the line which divide the shape into uh, symmetrical parts, okay? In the way that the other part is the reflection of uh, the first part. Mm, so as you can see that this is a complete figure. So if I draw a straight line, if I draw a line of symmetry from here like this, from the mid of this figure. So here you can see that I have divided this figure into two equal parts, into symmetrical parts in the way that each part is the reflection of the other part, okay? And uh, in the way that each part is equal in size and same in shape. So these two parts are equal in size and same in shape. These two parts are symmetrical. And this is the line of symmetrical which is dividing the shape into two equal parts. So um, I'm going to, now I, has, I have to write down the equation. So as you can see that I have told you that whenever you're having any vertical line, remember that vertical line means that is the equation of x, okay? That is the equation of x. So as you can see that the vertical line is passing through 2. So it means that this is the equation of x and you will write it as x is equal to 2. Basically the equation of a, uh, the equation of a, um, a vertical line is x is equal to a where a is a constant. So in this case a is 2. So you write it as x is equal to 2. So the equation of this line is x is equal to 2. Moving forward to part 2. Okay. As you can see that this is a triangle. So if I draw a line from here, a mid, okay, to divide this shape. As you can see that I have drawn a horizontal line because with horizontal line, I can divide this shape into two equal parts, into symmetrical parts in the way that each part is a reflection of other part. So if I draw a vertical line, I cannot divide it into two equal parts. So um, I can just draw a horizontal line, okay. A horizontal line in the way that I have divided this uh, figure into two equal parts, the parts which are same in shape and equal in size. And this line of symmetry is dividing this shape into two symmetrical parts. Mm, so how would you write down its equations? Just remember that whenever you are having any horizontal line, so the equation of a horizontal line is y is equal to a. Uh, y is equal to a. Okay, remember that vertical the equation of vertical line is x is equal to a. Equation of the horizontal line is y is equal to a. 
uh, as you can see the y y is equal to 8 because it's a, a y axis okay and the horizontal line passes through uh, the uh, value which is on y axis and the same why I have written x over here and um, because uh, the uh, a vertical line passes through the x axis and a horizontal line passes through the y axis so that is why the equation is y is equal to a now what is the a a is a constant through which that line is passing and here you can see that this line is passing through 4 so the equation is y is equal to 4 okay I hope that it's clear to you moving forward to c part All right, so uh, here C part is all right. Now I have to draw this figure into uh, two equal parts. So I can draw it by I cannot draw I, I cannot draw a, a vertical line because through vertical line I cannot divide the figure into two equal parts. I can just divide into two equal parts by drawing a horizontal line. Okay, as you can see that from here, I have drawn a horizontal line. Okay, here the value is 3. Okay, so through this line, I can divide this figure into two equal parts. As the value over here is 3 because this is 2. This is 0. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and here 5 and 6. So 3. And as I have told you that it's passing through the y-axis. So the equation is y is equal to a. And what is a? That constant which is 3. So the equation is y is equal to a. 3. Okay, I hope that it's clear. Now moving forward to D part. D part, how can I divide this figure into two equal parts? Mm, okay. Yes, I cannot draw a horizontal line because when I draw a horizontal line, as you can see that this part is bigger than this part. Okay, as I have told you that symmetrical parts must be same in size, equal in size and same in shape. So I cannot draw a horizontal line, but I can draw a vertical line. Okay, as you can see that if I draw a vertical line, yes, through this vertical line, I can divide uh, this figure into a symmetrical part. This and this part, these both parts are equal in size and same in shape and this each part is a reflection of the other part. So it means that I can divide this shape into two equal parts by just, by just drawing this line and it's passing through x and it's a vertical line, so it's the equation of x is passing through x axis now so the equation is x is equal to 4 okay i hope that um, this question number 8 is clear to you now let's move uh, move forward to question number 9 so this question number 9 is shared in one small square on the diagram so that the resulting diagram has two lines of symmetry so, so how can i draw um, um okay which a uh, box if uh, if I color that, that so that I can get two lines of symmetry. So um, it could be, uh, it should be here, this this box, because when I shape this, as you can see that, so this is how you can see that now it's having, so I will shade this part because uh, as I have drawn these two lines of symmetry, you can see that with these two lines of symmetry, I can divide this figure into four equal parts. So resulting figure is having two lines of symmetry. That is why I have shaded this part. Now I can get four equal parts. Um, here you can see that these four parts are equal in size and same in shape and are asymmetrical. Okay. And each part is a reflection of the other part. So it means that if I shade this part, then I can get two lines of symmetry, this and this. Moving forward to question 10, add one square to the figure so that the resulting diagram has one line of symmetry. So students, if I draw a, a box here, then I can get, uh, then the resulting figure would be having a one line of symmetry. Because if I draw a line from here, like as you can see, like this, now you can see that left and right part, left, sorry, right and left part, right and left part, both parts are same in shape and equal in size so this part is a reflection of this part so it means that if i make a square over here then i can have a one line of symmetry okay so i hope that today's lecture is clear to you the practice of the sum because when you do the practice then this concept will be more clear to you take very good care of yourself thank you very much and allah hafiz